Welcome fellow developers to the only YouTube channel dedicated to learning the OutSystem platform. Hello OutSystems developers. Today we are going to learn a quick tutorial here about forms and required fields. First things that we're going to do is go and get us a, a page which I've already created. It's our form test page. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to uh, give it an aggregate and we're going to use the class aggregate. There we go. Class. No. Class. There we go. I'm going to drag it there and that's going to give us the classes, uh, class number and class name. We just need a table just to, uh, to show you this really quickly. And now we're going to go back to the page. I am going to grab a form. There we go. They kind of look a, a little bit alike. All right. I'm going to drag the aggregate. And there is the aggregate. And as we see, we have two fields. We're going to click on the save. That's going to give you a function that automatically builds with a, a pass and a fail of whether the form is valid. And for the fail, we're going to put a message that says failed. And if we, if it, if, it, if it's valid, we're going to put one that says pass. All right. So now we have our, our action and our messages. And we're just going to take this form as is. And uh, I'm going to flag that first field as false. So it is not mandatory. And the second field is as false, wait, that's enab that's uh, enabled. We don't want that. We want mandatory false. There we go. Both fields are mandatory false, which means that I can put whatever I want in there. It, it's not going to check for anything. And we're going to right click on the form and we get two fields with data in them. And we'll just erase that and uh, just put some numbers in there save all right let's try now if we put nothing and we save it it passes because it's not checking for anything it doesn't care whether we put data or not so what happens if we make this field here mandatory true okay so the first field is going to be mandatory true we we'll compile that And now we browse it and we erase the, uh, the stuff in there. Okay. And we're, we'll put some data here at the one below and nothing in the one on the top. And look, we get a fail because this field is required. And again, we'll, we'll go to the action real quickly here. Come on. There we go. And it works because of that right there. If you, the condition is form.valid. And if it's valid, and meaning it, it looks at the required fields and uh, they're filled by with whatever you choose to put on there, if it's valid, it, it passes. Otherwise, it fails. Thank you so much for watching our tutorials here in the Learning Out Systems channel. If this has been of help to you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in getting notifications of when we release new videos, click on the bell at the top of the page. See you guys again right here in Learning Out Systems.